you know, when you wake up and you get out on the water and the fog lifts. You're in a dream state, you know, you're, you're just connected. In the bluegills world, their time is suspended. You're connected with a bait that you know that you can swim it in its reality, you can swim it in its world. Put you right in the fins of a bluegill. Through its mind, you're able to navigate its environment. You know, this connection that you have whenever you're throwing a, a swim bait It's like braille. Every turn of the reel handle and every kick of, of your bait puts you deeper in connection with it. You know, I think one of the biggest things when it comes to swim baiting is commitment. As you're playing that bait, through its environment. It's the inevitable countdown that your day is gonna to come to the end. I've always wanted to have a bait that I can pick up and throw and with the dying seconds of the day have a shot completely turning it around. When you fish the sleeper gill, it just makes you feel like you've predicted the future. The more you cast it around, the more you dial it in, it keeps feeding you more and more information. And when everything lines up, and you get that first bite, that first big major clue. It's like that light bulb moment. Every morning starts off slow. Every morning starts off with the wonder of how your the rest of your day is going to go. It's such a mysterious part of the day. It's unknowing what the outcome is going to be. You know, with my experience with this bait, it's, it's given me a cool insight on how bass eat gills. You're going to experience two different bites with this bait. One is going to be a very, very aggressive jolt. The feeling of a heavy jig bite. And the second, the surge of weightlessness slack getting pushed into your line and when that happens I know a giant has a choke So every single turn of the handle, you just know it's, you're getting one reel closer. It looks so realistic. But right when you cast it in, right on entry, it gives a bass 
a perfect presentation of a, a gill coming up and eating an insect and just falling back into the water. You know, with this bait, it's those small accents of craftsmanship really shines through. It's one of those baits that the closer the bass gets, the more drawing power that it has. I'm always constantly thinking about the retrieve. Can I change the direction of a bait? How can I trigger a bite? I've noticed with fishing a, a sleeper gill, there's many different ways that you can fish the bait. The way that I've found to be the most effective for me has been just a slow and steady retrieve. if you can bump cover for a strand of grass. When you see these opportunities come up, whether it's a small hole in the grass, 30 yards in on a mat, or deep inside of a lay down, far underneath a, a dock slip. Even if it's loading up in grass and you can still continuously pull it through without popping it, you're just able to maintain that slow and steady retrieve. Mesmerizing fall that entices bass to want to eat it. Something so compact such a reckoning for big bass. It's not if you're gonna get that, it's when. For me, you know, fishing tournaments, it's all about time management. How can I make the best decisions for the best outcome? How do you put the favor in your pocket? It's one of those baits you can just fish all day. When it's windy out, and even when it's slick glass calm, I've watched this bait excel. When those, those fish become so pressured that nothing else will trigger them. Fishing this bait makes you feel like you're in a dream. It manifests moments. It becomes a storyteller.